I want everyone to imagine this. Nearly 15 million acres of your country have been burnt, have been burned down. Billions of animals have died. Thousands of homes have been lost. Hundreds of thousands of people have been forced to leave the only place they know is home. Not everyone has to imagine this. For over 79 days, there have been brush fires in, North, in New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. These fires have been caused by some natural occurrences, but also due to some human fault. They've had a great effect on the people and the environment that surrounds them. This is an example of what the fires look like. There have been 3 billion animals, 33 people, and countless others have died or gone missing in result to these tragic fires. According to, world, according to the Worldwide Fund for Nature, nearly 3 billion animals have died. Between the years 2019 and 2020, are reported 143 million mammals, 2.46 billion reptiles, 180 million birds, and 51 million frogs or amphibians have been, have been reported to die as a result to these fires. Animals have been forced out of their habitats and into new homes. This, this resulted in overpopulation and, and increased competition for food. You may be thinking to yourself, well, if it just affects the animals, then why should I worry about it? It not only does it affect billions of wildlife, but also directly affects the humans that are living in the area as well. According to the National Center for Fire and Emergency Services, around 3,100 homes have been lost due to these brush fires. There's been a reported nine firefighters that have died, along with 32 other civilians that have died, that, that have died like that have been identified. You can find the names of these firefighters and these civilians on the Australian Parliament website. Also about, a quarter, also about a quarter million people have been forced to flee their homes due to the smoke and sun in the air. And not only the homes and lives of the animals have been affected from these fires, but also the environment in general has taken a great toll. According to, the, according to EOS Science News, the debris from the fire is threatening the water supplies in the area. Ash, sun, and charred vegetation could, cl could clog up the streams, dams, and beaches leading to blooms of algae and threatening the water quality. As you can see in the photo, the smoke from the fire so fogged up the sky, polluting the air, which all of us know is very unhealthy for the environment. Now that you know how big of an issue the Australian brush fires are, they're not, just a subject, they're not just subject to Australia. They can occur anywhere in the world. So be careful to make sure that you, that you always put out a plane and never leave one unattended. Since you know the effects from the brush fires, I hope you can take away and try to help prevent this from happening in your local area or anywhere at all. If you want to help, there are many good associations that can help provide different ways to help us cover from these fires. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, to help people, the people in the environment after the fires, that's a really good question. Um, there's many different organizations, for example, back the slide, the slide where I have the picture of the koala, there's many animal organizations that have gone to try to rescue the animals and try, they're trying to help. Since the fires have pushed them in a certain area, they're trying to disperse. It still would be more than normal, but the animals would be dispersed to a more even Area, which could help with the food competition and lack of home for the animals. Anyone have, have any questions? Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Applause.